Hey guys, uh, this is Mike from Guns and Hunting. Uh, I just thought I'd make a little video here. I just got done eating supper uh, about how I sharpen my uh, knives. Uh, I normally, you know, this is how I do my hunting knives. I don't have any that are dull. Unfortunately, I always keep all my knives sharp, you know, ready to go. So I'm going to use my son's pocket knife here, one of his pocket knives. It's just a Gerber, you know, nothing special here. You know, it's not, it's not sharp. I mean, you can't even, you know, you can't even shave the hairs off my hand. You know, it's dull. But what this is, this is a Lansky Deluxe Knife Sharpening Kit. This has the five stones to it. The extra coarse, the coarse, the medium, fine, and the ultra fine. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you how I do this. On this here, it has five, uh, four different settings for the degree of the angle. 17, 20, 25, and 30. And normally, you know, like pocket knives and, you know, just a plain old knife, I'll sharpen it like about on a 25 degree angle. I think that's a pretty good balance between, you know, being sharp and holding a good edge. Because you get to the 17 degree angle, that's more of a finer edge, more like for a scalpel. And the further you go up, like a 20 degree edge, a 25 and a 30, the edge is more durable. It might not be that razor sharp, but it'll hold an edge better. So what I do, I'm going to show you how I do it. Clamp this on the back of the blade. And if you look carefully here, the distance from the upper jaw to the lower jaw is about the thickness of the blade. And this is just what I found that works best for me. I try to keep this thickness here about the same back here that you know you're going to get a true an angle as you can next time you go to sharpen your knife. So let's dive in here. I'm not going to go through every stone. I'm just going to show you how it's done. A little fine oil. Put it in a 25 degree angle. And the trick is, what you want to do is keep the same amount of strokes on both sides. So I'm just going to throw out a number. Let's say you do 25 strokes on one side. Do 25 strokes on the other side. And what you do, you just keep going back and forth. You know, I might not do 25 and 25. I might do like 50 on one side and 50 on the other side depending how bad the blade is, you know. But, uh, like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole thing here. I'm just going to go on, uh, sharpen it, you know, and just show you a little bit with each stone. Okay, we got done with our extra coarse stone. And one thing I should mention is after you go over your knife blade so many strokes with the stone, just get it and wipe it off because you can see here what comes off your stone you know the, the stone itself actually wears away and little metal particles come off your blade you know you don't want that to clog up your stone so you want to wipe it off so like i said then you just go to your next stone the course i'm going extra course because that was pretty dull you know my son's knife was pretty dull and i don't know I don't think I ever sharpened this knife before, so I'm not sure what degree edge is on it. So like I said, you know, put it in the same slot, same amount of strokes, you know, both sides. And you can't go wrong. So like I said, I'm going to go to the coarse blade and we'll just keep going until we get down to the ultra fine. Okay, now we're down to the medium stone. Same thing. Put a little oil on here. That's one thing you always want to make sure you do is have oil on your stone. You know, that flushes away the, the grit off the edge of the blade, you know, from the stone deteriorating. And uh, you're more or less like grinding the blade, except you're just doing it by hand. So make sure you keep your uh, stone 
oiled and like I said after you make so many strokes wipe it off because you can see what you're what you're getting off here so like I said same slot 25 degrees and you just uh, start uh, shaving away okay now we got done the medium blade now if you did your part right when you went to the extra course the course in the medium blade you should start to feel an edge on here now if you don't then you have to go back like uh, to your course blade and um, go over it a little more because you want to have even on both sides if you don't it's not going to be sharp so same thing fine blade a little oil 25 degree angle and you just start uh, honing away okay this is the last stone this is the ultra fine stone uh, this is like a, a hard Arkansas stone if not a little harder this is an ultra fine so here we go again same thing make sure you got oil on your stone same amount of strokes on both sides you know and uh, when you're done you got to have a pretty nice edge Okay, I took it out of the out of the sharpener. I went through with the uh, extra coarse, the coarse, the medium, the fine, and the ultra fine stone. And uh, let's see how it is here. I don't want to press too hard. I, if you're going to do this, be really careful because I've done this thousands of times. But still cut, you can still cut yourself. Now you should be able to feel a nice edge on there, which that is. Put it up to my arm here. You can see it shaves it off. It's not like a scalpel. That's not what we're looking for. We just want it to be sharp, but have a durable edge. And there you go. Like I said, uh, usually uh, pocket knives and just a, I don't know, plain old knife you're using to having uh, cut rope with or whatever, I'll sharpen about a 25 degree angle, but my hunting knives, you know, the steel was better on them and I'll sharpen them about like 20 degree angle because it's a better quality steel. Like I said, this is just a plain old Gerber knife, you know, stainless steel blade, nothing special. But here we go. There's how I sharpen my knives and that's how I usually have pretty good luck with them. And they usually hold an edge pretty good. So, hey, this is Mike from Guns and Hunting. I hope I could uh, educate you a little bit on how to sharpen your knives. And until next time, uh, remember, shoot safe and shoot often.